Hello and welcome, whether it is the morning, the evening, the afternoon, I want to say hi and welcome you to just a short video about emotions and feeling our feelings rather than getting stuck in the story of them. So often we're more in the essence of why we're feeling something above actually feeling what it is that we're moving through. If we were to allow ourselves to feel what the emotion has, rather than blame and shame and justify why we're feeling something, getting stuck in that cognitive space of the emotion rather than the message of the emotion. Every message, every emotion, I mean, has a sacred message for you. It could be fear, it could be doubt, it could be worth, it could be telling you it's something you really desire and yet you're holding back. And well, that hold back, there's a reason for it. There's something in your past that brings those emotions to life within you. And when we ignore that, the actual feeling of it and allow it to move through our bodies, to give it a space to be seen, to be heard, to be witnessed, and we get stuck in the cognitive, the story of why or who and how come, and we don't allow it to move through us. We don't allow ourselves to learn the message that it has for us. And so really today, it's really just to talk about how can we begin to listen to what it is that these emotions are trying to share with us? What is the actual growing point that we can allow to come to life for us? If we allow ourselves to slow down enough to, to leave and detach from the story of the emotion and actually listen to the emotion, to calibrate it within ourselves so that we move through it, we can release it. And when we don't, you know, it, it comes to us, as I said, quite often the, the initial whispers we ignore. And then it gets a little louder. It's maybe a yell and then a scream until it's a roar. And it can seriously do major physical damage to our bodies when we don't learn to allow them to process through us, when they get stuck, when they fester, when they get too heavy for what we're meant to actually carry. And the interesting thing is there's a lot of emotions when we learn to calibrate and we, we see that our emotions are at a level where it's overwhelming quite often some of those emotions aren't even ours. There's ones that we've integrated from our surroundings as we grew up, an auto response or a reaction, things we were told, things that were said to other people even around us when we we're really young, right? We don't necessarily differentiate somebody's anger outside of ourselves. If somebody we cared for and that we, we leaned on for love would get angry, quite often as a child, we would think it was because we were unlovable. And these can cause blocks as we move forward. So learning to calibrate where we are in the now, we can also start to see which are, which are emotions that aren't even ours, right? That's where the story comes in. What are these stories that are, are t we're telling ourselves about the emotions? And really to begin with, what I want to say is there is no bad emotion. There is no emotion that you can feel that you need to hide from, that you need to feel shame over. Every message within you is a beautiful, beautiful bloom of wisdom that wants to share and wants to be heard and wants to be seen. And so many of us hide these emotions because we're afraid to own it. We're afraid to say, hey, I'm scared or, hey, I, I'm, I'm really feeling anxious. There's nothing wrong with those emotions. They're beautiful messages that we can learn and grow through. And when we begin to just even acknowledge that, to say, where am I? What am I feeling? Where am I feeling it? We can start to really calibrate it and see where, where do we go from there, right? Just even not getting stuck in the story can allow us to move through the emotion. Not the reason why we're feeling something, but what we are actually feeling. And so I welcome you in this short little video to, if you're new to kind of the Soma, Soma, there's breath work, we know a lot of, but Soma really is just about what's in your body, listening to your body, listening to the wisdom that your body, your body doesn't have an actual language outside of emotions and feelings. And quite often when we're ignoring our emotions, that language becomes pain for many of us, back aches. Um, I mean, there's so many, so many different responses our bodies can take. And when we can begin to 
allow ourselves to feel into the emotion without the justification, the reasoning, the blame, the shame, just truly say, what am I feeling? What is this emotion? And what is the message for me? Because there is always a message in the emotions that you're feeling. And it's when we can begin to see it and bear witness of it rather than get stuck in it, that we can start to grow from these emotions and not hide from them, not feel shame from them. There's no emotion that you have that you have any reason to have any shame or judgment of. Every emotion has a message, a story, something to, to help you move through and walk along this journey. And so today, I really just want to welcome you that if you're feeling anything, allow yourself to hear the message. We can move through as we grow and, and learn is to see where it is in our bodies. You know, is there a color? Is there a texture? Is there a word associated with it? But until we kind of get our grounding point, our starting step of like learning to even listen, to detach from the story of the emotion and actually bear witness to the emotion, we can really start to change the game. And I know everything you desire is possible for you. Everything that you want to bring to life is possible. And sometimes, and most often, getting through and understanding those emotions and where they are is what's going to be what starts to open the doors to, to allow fresh air into our lives. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you see value. If you love it, let me know. I love to hear from you. And I really welcome you to, to love your emotions, to learn to see them with tenderness and with care and with almost a sense of gratitude and curiosity above judgment or shame. There's nothing you're feeling that needs to have any shame, beautiful one. I truly hope that this resonates for you and that you begin to accept and see your emotions for what they are. The wise, wise guru giving you insights into what is most important and a space for you to grow through 